Hello people, my name is Rage and welcome to Warcraft 3 The Frozen Throne. This is one of my favorite games of all time. I spent a good portion of my life where this was my damn near only game. The campaign I played through multiple times. I got actually kind of good at the ranked multiplayer ladder and then I spent countless hours in custom games from RP maps to the original Dotter All Stars. This game is a treasure trove of memories for me and it is an absolute pleasure and an honor to be able to give you guys a video on it. So we're going to go where it all began for me. My young self, still naive in the world of gaming, as I wide-eyed played through the campaign of this glorious game, introduced all the characters that would then gain fame throughout the community for being the opposite of lame. It's just, ah, uh, oh, it's just insane. Let's do this thing. <laughs> I can't help but giggle like a little girl in a helium factory. I really can't. I am just... Oh, I am uh, beside myself to start uh, playing uh, this campaign uh, once again. So here we have uh, my uh, Veladon uh, Storm Rage's uh, prison guard during his, well, imprisonment. And uh, now we are hunting him down before he can escape to Northrend uh, and start the whole Lich King storyline. Now, this game, I mean, it functions. I, I, I feel like there's a part of me that's like... I shouldn't have to explain Warcraft 3, but for those of you that, you know, have lived under rocks, I, I mean, I appreciate it, you know, somebody has to experience rock life so the rest of us uh, don't have to, but this does just play like Age of Empires, like Starcraft, you've got your units, you micro them, you ask them to kill other units, and you have fun. The key thing with Warcraft, and what I think made it so compelling, apart from all the characters that are really well known, I mean, this game was the basis for all of the characters that would gain fame throughout Warcraft, but the focus is on your hero you units, i.e. Maiev, who has two abilities at the moment. They are much stronger than other units, they have a lot more options, and they generally give you the ability to kind of stomp fights, so you've got to use them effectively, and then the rest of your army is effectively, uh, you know, backup. They're, they're good bodyguards, and that's what I like about this, especially in the campaign, because the Warcraft campaign definitely lets you RPRTS. Now, what I mean by that is there is an efficient way to play a strategy game. There is a good build order. There is a good uh, unit composition. You know, there is a smart, mechanically gifted way to play this game. However, Mistress, after this cutscene, the Furbogs have succumbed to the forest corruption. It's as if they've lost themselves to mindless rage. I beg your pardon. Greatly during the Legion's invasion. Don't just gloss over they that. Be saved. Are you calling me mindless? Who the hell do you think you are, Nisha? Bitch! I have I have thoughts. I think things occasionally. I will have you know I was a champion thinker in the world thinking competition, which is a thing that I invented and thus was the only contestant, but that's not the point. It's officially recognized by the board of committee organizers, which again is something I made up, but I will I will unleash my fury upon your soul! <sighs> As I was saying, RP, uh, RTS, so let's say you think it's going to be a lot of fun. Let me just kill this deer. We don't want that deer getting mindless rage either and murdering people. You know, it's, it's, it's a hazard to all of mankind. So let's say you think it's going to be fun to build a wall of 20 towers in front of your base and just let the enemies constantly throw themselves at it and die because you're fighting AI in a campaign. You could do that so easily in this game. You really don't have to play super efficiently unless you go on mega hard difficulty. And I always enjoyed that. And honestly, this game is the first game, ironically, after just saying that, that I properly got into learning how to play an RTS properly. I really went, for, for my age at the time, hardcore on it. I got pretty good at playing Orcs under the name Brutish Killer. Yeah, that's where that name came from. This game right here because I played orcs and I was like orcs are brutish and they kill things My I'm gonna be a brutish killer ha <laughs> <laughs> creativity I'm gonna be a youtuber one day drove the creature mad. there's no telling how many more innocents it might harm that's gonna suck the madness must end 
We will find the creature and put it down. If your very presence is enough to drive things insane, like that has gotta that has gotta irritate you, because you know, while sometimes that might be fine, I think for the most part, you just don't want to make people incredibly- That poor deer! It just arrived just in time to slap it in the- I mean, I know I killed one, but I'm allowed to kill one. I'm playing a race of forest people. They do what they like. But that's just uncalled for, my friend. That is just absolutely uncalled for. I'm just gonna blink over here so I can actually attack them and then we'll fight of knives. As he arrives in, we've got our level up. We want to upgrade fan of knives. It's just fantastic AoE and works really well in the campaign. Okay, we'll get him down pretty good. I am taking a little bit too much damage to my liking, so I'll kite just a tad there. That works out. We'll get the Tome of Agility, which is my Ev's main stat, so that does really help them out. No bonuses to be found over there. So yeah, I got pretty good at the game with the name British Killer. And actually, this is the first game that I followed the esports scene of. I used to watch pro matches all the time. In fact, I used to go to my brother's house because he was into the game a lot as well, and we used to watch pro matches together. It's a really happy memory for me, so there's really a there, lot mistress, I love about this game. Grubby was after. my favorite player. I love the Naga. They look badass. Many craven races have tempted our wrath over the centuries. None have survived. Wretched woman. We will retake the surface world and put an end to your vile race once and for all. Though I do take a point of contention here. The race of effectively fish monsters is calling the race of effectively perfect model level beautiful people the vile race. Now, I don't know if the Naga just have a massive inferiority complex, but, you know, on that one point there, I do have to side with the Night Elves. I I don't think that's an accurate insult. It's like going to a male model show and just going, You guys suck! You're so vile and ugly! I'm so much better! As you're there in your t-shirt that says Gamer for Life. I don't think it quite paid- Not that I've done that or anything! Are you crazy? I don't think it quite works out. Though, ironically, the Naga used to be elves before they became Naga, which would be a hilarious racial trait, wouldn't it? So our species has a thing going on that if we don't, you know, bathe for like a week, we actually mutate into hideous fish beings. I know, it's it's quite the curse. Now, I know I do know the actual law, okay, before people go, <laughs> well, actually, Rage, you're completely wrong on that. It's completely due to the exploding of the sun well and Queen Ashara led her people into becoming hideous monsters in her lust for power. Not that any of you guys speak like that, but, you know, Sometimes you just gotta get your comic book guy on, and and that was one of those times. But, yeah, the amount of lore I know about this game. I know more about Warcraft than I do about any of the subjects I learned at school, and uh, whether that's a good or a bad thing, I really don't know. Now, the thing about this game, unlike something like Age of Empires, is your maximum unit capacity is really quite low. This army I have now is about in between a medium and large army in this game, and that's what I like as well. It's a lot more focused on small units size being used effectively than it is on mass amounts of dudes clashing together. And I don't know about you guys, but I don't like watching mass amounts of dudes clashing together. Just, just doesn't do it for me. <laughs> Uh, yeah, look, we've actually reached the point where I can't select all my units because we've got a maximum group size, so that is quite good. Let's get rid of them and get a few more of those going out. So that was a bonus objective to make uh, them. So what I think I'm going to do is get those two and then we'll have a group one and two so I can actually use everything because otherwise we are going to be in dire, well not really dire straits. We have way too many units for this stage. Oh look, a demonic gate. Gee, I wonder who named that. Go golly, that is, oh, <laughs> look at it. I give you my latest creation, the Demonic Gate. Seriously, dude, I just wanted a gate. Can do? Does it need to be demon-based? Hey, Illidan! Escaping on a boat the size of him. There's a lot of things in this game that you realize when you play it later on. Like, really? He might as well just paddle himself to North Red. The ships must be burned. <sighs> the master doesn't wish to be followed. 
Nope, I cannot on the way. allow Illidan to escape again. We must slay those Naga before they burn the ships. You are too late, little warning. The Master has already set sail for distant shores. However, he wished to thank you for the hospitality you provided during his imprisonment. He asked us to repay you in time. You All right, fish face. Let's die, young sir. Did you know that I called my glaive a frying pan? Is that is that offensive to a fish? I guess if a weapon was called frying pan, you know, that they wouldn't like that because I don't think fish enjoy being fried. I'm just going to generally a move everything kind of over there and they should in theory get there in time. I'm going to send uh, Nayev a little bit further on just because she can start to save these guys. I do worry about the uh, aerial creatures a little bit and I don't want her to completely oh no they're kind of crushing through that's absolutely fine I mean those dogs don't actually need killing but it's still fine I mean I just need to get rid of the ones that are specifically damaging the ships we will uh, get some fan of knives up there because my ev can't actually target aerial units hero units can only hit aerial ones if they find an item called a frost orb a fire orb a poison orb or a lightning orb and that lets their melee attacks have a ranged component but alas alack it's not what I have so we've saved four of the ships, though is it just me? Three of them are still literally on fire. That doesn't seem like it's going to be a sensible thing to set sail on. But yeah, that's, I mean, the elves got this, right? They'll probably use some sort of magic and uh, pull it out of the waves. And that, that's cool. I, I don't blame them. They can probably swim, uh, like, really effectively. Like, they, they, you think butterfly stroke is a thing? You've not seen anything till you've seen a night elf stroke. That just sounds like one of my uh, archers is just randomly going to be like, and then they just collapse. So maybe we don't want to do that in Mistress, the water. Do you believe we can defeat Illidan even if we find him? Illidan has grown powerful. Of that, there is no doubt. He consumed the energies of the skull of Gul'dan. Now he is neither night elf nor demon, but something more. Mistress, why would the Naga harbor so much hatred for us? We must trust time to reveal all things. Now hurry. Illidan has a considerable lead on us. We must capture him before he causes any more harm. Yes, we must. Away! So Illidan is basically headed to Northrend, and uh, that's where the Lich King is chilling. <laughs> It's like, oh, that, that's hilarious if you know about the Lich King. Just saying, look at me, outscored the Naga all the time. All right, to the Broken Isles, an area that isn't actually in WoW yet, which is quite interesting. Mistress, Here we, go. we followed Illidan's course due east, as you asked, but these strange islands do not appear on any of our maps. I suspected as much. These islands must have been formed only recently. What makes you say that? The ruins all around us, Nysha. I recognize them. This was once the great city of Suramar, built before our civilization was blasted beneath the sea 10,000 years ago. But how could... Are you suggesting that these islands were somehow raised from the seafloor? Perhaps. Though there are few powers left in the world capable of raising islands from the deeps. Regardless, it's a mystery we'll have to solve later. We'd best head inland and set up a base camp. Once we're situated, we'll pick up Illidan's trail. Okay, Here, okay. Sister, we'll certainly do this mission as well and get a feel so for actual, you know, the, the base building part of the game. So as the Night Elves, we have Wisps as our workers, and they become uh, the tree buildings themselves when they get formed. So let's get ourselves, uh, in fact, not an archer, and we want the rally point to be on our hero so they actually arrive. We've already got five Wisps in our gold mine, which is good. The Night Elves entangle the gold mine, the Orcs just mine it, and the Undead uh, have acolytes that kind of ghost power stuff out of the mine. It's kind of interesting. Let's upgrade. 
upgrade our main base to the next tree and get ourselves a hunter's hall which has improvements for all of our troops and then the moon well is the basic increase the amount of units you can have building while also providing a little bit of uh, healing and then this altar here every race has an altar and that's what summons your hero units normally you have a choice of four and you can have three of them maximum in a game but as this is a campaign that's not what we can have no indeed so now that everything is upgrading let's initially start with a little bit of exploration we don't really care about these ships I mean we can hire actual battleships but it's not that big of a deal so this is a shop that lets you buy items for your hero which uh, for a lot of the time is actually really useful because it makes them a lot more powerful in combat when you can augment their abilities uh, on the fly. So let's d -d 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 do this thing. Take them out really well and uh, level it up. Now in the campaign, your hero just levels up throughout the entire thing, whereas in a normal game, it starts at one and then resets when you finish the game, of course, because uh, otherwise that would just be ridiculous. Powerful, yes, it would be. If a wisp builds a building that isn't a tree, it doesn't get consumed, but if it's a tree, then it does indeed. So, uh, we're good for now. Let's get them on the trees. They just harvest wood forever. They don't actually consume the trees like the other races, which is kind of nice. Let's increase the strength of our soldiers. Yes, sir. And then continue our exploration. It was such a hard decision to decide how best to show off this game, because there's all the races, there's all the campaigns, there's the custom modes. I mean, we'd need a good 18 hour video for all of it. So, hopefully, you guys are still really enjoying this. You never know, we could definitely at least have a little go at all of uh, the races. Mall of Strength, not great for my hero. This is a random goblin shop, but we don't need it. Actually, no, we'll get the Scroll of Town Portal. This lets me TP all of my troops back to base. If we get attacked, we can quickly come to the aid of our town. Yes, indeed. We'll upgrade our armor too. The Tree of Ages is taking, well, ages to build, but it is about to finish, and there we have it. The cool thing about Night Elf buildings is they they can uproot like so and walk around and just smack things in the face. All right, you need to uh, root right now. And then what I am going to do is use this and any second now, bomb, bada, bomb, bada, bomb, 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 returns the army. This is why we buy ourselves a uh, scroll of town portal so now that we've upgraded that we can get an agent of law which lets us train dryads and druids and other nature-based lovers so the one thing I love about Night Elves is that when their buildings are injured, they set on fire, as does every race is. But their buildings are living trents. So is he effectively just got the world's balliest balls of steel in that he sat there just not feeling the pain of being on fire? Or is he just internally screaming, Oh my god, why would anybody have this be on fire? B -b Bonus quest, here we go. An orc. I smell the stench of demons about him. Rest easy, stranger. This old wanderer has no quarrel with you or your kin. I am Drakthul, once a powerful warlock of the Storm Reaver clan. Now, I am the last of my kind. Poor what thing. are you doing here? Your pardon, lady, but I am hunted by restless ghosts. They've chased me day and night for nearly twenty years. Perhaps if you silence them for me, I will tell you my tale. I'll consider it. Or I could just murder you, and then we're fine, right? Alright, so let us get rid of the g -g -g spooky ghosts! Ooh. Let's create some more troops. I'm actually going to leave these ones at base just to protect any uh, future attacks that come my way. And I'm also going to uproot our turret. This is the equivalent of the tower for the Night Elves. Actually, what's the correct way to get here? I genuinely forget. Can we all please chill out, alright? Everybody calm down. I wonder if we can get there. Okay, that's a CBM off. That's... That's really not good. That is, that is not good. That is really, really not good. Run! Run, my elf! Oh, sugar and spice!
spice and everything full of blink, blubber blink. There we go. Mana came up. What is up? Get on my level. Rest of my team, and let's do this. Team I have, r -r 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 roll out. No, 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 no. Because, you know, the Night Elves are basically a race of female Batmans. Actually, when you describe them like that, that makes them sound bloody badass, doesn't it? Yes, my entire race of people are basically Batmans. What do you want? Get on my level. And then we'll leave that transport there, send these three back to defend the base, and that should be pretty good. Let's go silence ourselves some Those skeletons. must be the ghost the old orc spoke of. They seem to be reliving their last battle. They're every bit as brutal and bloodthirsty as they were in life. Indeed. Good old skeletal orcs. We need more skeletal orcs in our life, don't we? Alright, if we get rid of the summoning pits, that at least stops them from permanently coming back. So we'll just we'll just casually ignore them. They can just fight each other. That's that's cool. And uh, we should be a good. I can't remember if we have to take them out afterwards, but it makes sense. Oh no, we're good. We're good. We can just let them kill each other. So that is fine. Let us leave. You guys can enjoy killing each other for a while longer yet. Oh, I need some more. Moon wells, so we'll get them going. In fact, I'll queue up a couple just so we can really do it, and then we'll upgrade that. Whoa, calm down. We are taking a metric ton of damage all up in here. There seems to be a Naga over here. There is a way to play as the Naga race and actually have their buildings and workers, and it's a lot of fun, but I can't remember actually how to do it as of now. Holy shit, that's an issue. That is a issue. Oh, Nelly. Oh, Nelly. Let's get that going on. There we go. That is fine. Because the thing is, I don't really have an effective way of taking out the aerial units. I really need some more guys coming in here. Oh, God. Give me another wisp. I'm going to build another Ancient of War so I can produce units a little bit quicker. And we're going to use that. Yeah, I actually have no physical way of uh, killing them. So, huh. This is an issue. My Druid of the Claw is easily going to die as well. Hmm. Got an idea. I've got an idea. What the fuck? All right. Oh, no, it's not working. How do I do what the fuck mode? I've forgotten how to do what the fuck mode. There is no spoon. There, there is no spoon. Ha! Ah, there is no spoon, Mother Druggers! There is no spoon! I'm not above using the cheats that I remember from the old days. Of course I'm not. So, can I actually... No, how do I enable what the fuck mode? I can't remember. I can't remember. Oh. Just at least I can use my infinite mana to kill them. Run, man! Run! I'm not above using cheats. Gosh, what do you, what do you want from me? Okay, we healed that with the Moonwell, who actually... Is very effective here. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. It might be who's your daddy, but I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to get too much cheats on. But I also didn't want to have to start this mission from scratch. You guys might not appreciate that from a video standpoint. <laughs> okay, let's get ourselves some archers all up. Is that enough? Oh, here we go. Never mind. Never mind. Here we. Here we go. Alright, you need to blink over here and start spraying all of the things. Hopefully I don't lose too many units in this. They're attacking my Druid of the Claws, which is absolutely perfect, because they can take a crap ton of damage before they go down. I say that as one of them has gone down, but but that's fine. I can, I can deal. Please die. You all need to die. My poor army. My poor army. My poor army. Oh, there goes my bear. Wonderful. At least I'm about to level up, so I got that going for me, which is... Could have been a lot worse. Hi! Freaking the most, uh, like, just ridiculously happy... What is nature's call? I fucking love nature! Oh, nature's amazing! Don't you just think nature is the best? I don't know why I went a little bit... I don't even know what I went a little bit there. I just know I went a little bit of it. Okay, you guys get yourselves back on that production. The dead will trouble you no more, old orc. Thank you, stranger. Now, hear my tale. Nearly 20 years ago, the great warlock Gul'dan 
raised these islands from the deeps. He sought to unearth an ancient vault that held the remains of the Dark Titan. Sargeras, you speak of the Legion's creator. The most the powerful same. being in Warcraft. After Sargeras' defeat ages ago, his remains were locked away in an undersea tomb. Gul'dan believed that opening the tomb would grant him the Dark Titan's power. For his pride, he and the rest of our clan were torn to shreds by crazed demons. I have wandered these isles ever since, haunted by the ghosts of my slaughtered comrades. Your tale is as intriguing as it is dire, Drakthul. It's a shame your ghosts lie silent. You deserve far worse than their company for what you set loose in this place. Throwing shade no all up in here. Wow, that was brutal. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. How long does this rope last? What? There we go. Bloody hell, that was ridiculous. Let us shadow strike that, and why have our warriors engaged the enemy that the druid of the claws already dead? Oh god, leave. Leave. Oh no. Oh, oh god. Oh god, it's horrible. It's just a slaughter. It's an absolute slaughter. Uh, actually, no, we seem like we're doing okay. As long as that survives, we should be. Things are going wrong. I repeat. Things are going wrong. Very wrong. Just very, very wrong. Okay. All right. This is fine. This is absolutely fine. Look, I'll be honest, guys. I accept defeat, so I'm going to man mode this. We are going to RP this into oblivion because I am the worst. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Naga? Get on my blades! <laughs> oh, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I am the worst player of Warcraft in the world. I was like, after all these years, I'll set it to maximum difficulty. And that will be fine, right? I got this. Look, I teleported back up to me. Isn't that great? <laughs> All right, guys, uh, I think we've had ourselves a nice little look at uh, Warcraft here, and uh, it is good. It really is good. Let me know if you'd like to see a little bit more, hopefully with a little bit more competency all up in here. That'd be great. <laughs> Let's save it as noob one. There we go. Noob one. Lovely. Absolutely fantastic there. And uh, yeah. <laughs> Let me know if you guys enjoyed this, and uh, I'll see you next week with another one of my favorite games of all time. But if you do want some more uh, Walker free, if you want a mini series on this, let me know. Comments, likes, whatever you feel like, and uh, we'll see what happens. But this was an absolute joy to uh, play again, even if we only touch the very, very tip of the iceberg. My name's been Rage. A oh, good boy.